Hello and welcome to Banks and Markets. In this video, I am going to talk to you about Modigliani and Modigliani ratio. Remember, I've been talking in my previous videos about portfolio performance measurement techniques and I talked about four different popular composite portfolio performance measurement techniques. One of them was SARP ratio. Now SARP is very popular and commonly used but it has some limitations and sometimes SARP is can be awkward. For example, um, when SARP is in negative or when we are given SARP such as for for SARP is given uh, and for portfolio A um, it is let's say 0.3 and uh, for portfolio B um, it is like minus 0.3 okay of course higher the better but then um, this can this can lead to confusion and as I will be explaining through modified SARP ratio later in another video you will see that um, SARP is not always the perfect solution so therefore we need to talk about other techniques and one such technique is um, Modigliani and Modigliani ratio. Now, um, again, this technique um, um, has the foundation from the SARP ratio. Um, at the same time, it complements the SARP. Okay, so as you can see, the ratio is uh, developed. The, this equation is provided by Modigliani and Modigliani, Franco Modigliani, the Nobel Prize winner, um, and his daughter Lee Modigliani has written this paper in which this this equation is discussed. So I'll be providing you a numerical example to help you explain the same. Firstly, you will see this particular um, equation as um, the formula discussed um, in 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 different textbooks at the same time in some text where you may as well see this formula so I'm going to explain both the formulas but trust me the results um, you just need to make a small adjustment they they are providing same um, same interpretation so here I have two portfolios one is for the um, market which is here and another is uh, for the let's say fund manager okay so first thing if we are going to apply this formula as you can see this formula here has the SARP ratio excess return divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio A is simply to say portfolio A okay so um, portfolio A now for this portfolio A the SARP ratio is basically the difference between the portfolio return and uh, risk free rate divided by the standard deviation which is 2 and the same SARP ratio for the market is 1.67 now if you find the difference you will see that the difference is 0.33 so the difference in the two SARP ratio for be, between the market and the, and the portfolio is in fact not very meaningful because you can see that the standard deviations here are different if they were same then you could have said all right per unit of similar risk what is the SARP ratio um, so an effective comparison a, a good uh, a comparison could be more effective let's put it this way okay so what we can therefore do to um, to to make effective interpretation is make use of this Modigliani and Modigliani ratio. So when we apply this formula, very simple. What we need is the risk-free rate, which is ten here, um, plus your SARP ratio, which is 
2 start for the portfolio multiplied by the standard deviation of the market which is 6 so you will see you will get 22 what does this mean this basically means if the market mean return the average return was going to be 22 if this was 22 the the SARP would equal the the portfolio SARP and the market SARP will equal they will be same okay so that's two that's two that's what it means so m square is providing you what should be the average return of the market to make the sarpert ratio of the portfolio equal to that of the market and that's something we obtained when we applied this formula here let's apply this formula now so if we apply this formula which is sarp of the portfolio take away sarp of the market and then multiply it by the standard deviation of the market then you are going to get not 22 but just number two but what it means now is you basically need to add this two on this 20 and therefore you get the 22 so what it is telling you here is the market return needs to add 2 so that the SARP ratio calculated after adding this number will be equal to the SARP of the portfolio. Okay, so this is what it means. So again, if you do the same 22, 10, 6, and then find this you will get here two okay so that two this two is same um so how did you find this 22 you found this 22 by adding 20 and 2 but if you apply this formula here you get that 22 straight okay so that's one thing but maybe you would like to play around and see for example if you change this 24 and let's say we want to decrease it okay so that it is less than this 20 so if I decrease it to let's say 17 I know I'm going to get SARP of a 1 okay so I got SARP of a 1 so this time what it is telling me that the market average return 20 needs to be reduced by 4 because the sign is minus so when you reduce it becomes 16 therefore this SARP is now equal to this SARP okay or you can use this formula here and therefore keep that 16 straight here which is kept here and then you'll get the SARP ratio of which will be equal to that of the portfolio now in terms of the ranking given by mod, mod, m square um, it will be same as that of the ranking given by the SARP ratio okay so M square ranking will agree with SARP ratio ranking um, so this is basically the the reason behind why uh, and how the M square can be useful do not forget if we just if we are just talking about a portfolio without the market then we cannot calculate the m square okay but we can calculate the sar we can calculate the sar for portfolio a for this year and compare it with what it was last year but in order to calculate the mod modiglani and modiglani ratio you also need the market related information all right this was about m square now i will talk about some other techniques which are again complementing the SARP ratio providing um, more um, valuable information on the given SARP ratio or the SARP ratio that we need to calculate thank you very much for watching this video thank you